And bam, we're back. Back at this beautiful staircase. Let's head on up the stairs and see how this luxurious area of uh, the second story of this amazing property. More butt shot. More butt shot. We do apologize for the butt shot once again. Hi guys, welcome to our tour of this amazing multi-million dollar property in Caram Downs, Victoria. Um, as you can see, the architect's gone with a, what is it, it's a, it's a modern industrial type look, David. Yeah, modern it. industrial I'd, I'd go with. Very, very nice, uh, very, very modern, very clean cut lines. Let's head inside because we've got a lot to show you, it's very special in here. The owner seems to be a little bit eclectic with what he does, but um, we'll go and have a bit of a look, shall we? Let's see inside. Continue the architectural industrial design with a beautiful aluminium door through here as well. Look at the size of this door, it's huge. As we come into the foyer, I'm going to take the glasses off because there's no sun in the room, don't we? The foyer or foyer? Which one is it, David? I, I go foyer. Foyer? Foyer. Leave a comment down below number one for foyer, number two for foyer. Let, let us know if we're saying it right. Um, correct us if we're wrong. Um, as you can see, the grand foyer or foyer, or just a greeting area for guests. The owner loves to have guests in here as well. And as you can see, as we pan through up around, this modern sculptural art that he's got up there as well from artists such as Marvel and to see up there as well. And um, we've got more on this side. And that theme continues throughout the whole property. Um, he's also in our lovely display cabinets over this side. He's also got his own artisan um, productions there as well that he's got backlit in these beautiful display cabinets. As we move through, we go through our, another aluminium door, keeping with the modern industrial vibe. Oh, I've got to mention this too. I mean, look at this. The aluminium continues up to this beautiful staircase with the beechwood staircase. Is it beechwood? I'm not sure. Leave a comment below if it's beechwood or you know exactly what side of wood it is. That heads upstairs to a luxurious um, second floor that we'll check out very, very shortly with a lot of surprises in store up there as well. As we come through the door, we head over to our left. As is to a downstairs water closet. Um, as you can see, uh, the owner loves family guests and um, he's even provided a baby change table in there as well, a downstairs water closet and a little stool so that the young kids can actually reach everything up there as well. We've got past all these little bits and pieces. You can see the light up there and these are very interesting. As we come around this side, you see these little tabs all over the property. These little tabs are um, UV sanitization germ uh, indications to make sure that it's sanitized. And these lights that are up there are uh, actually an automatic sanitization light. Um, after six minutes of long movement, the light will switch over to a UVC sanitization and actually sanitize the whole water closet, uh, downstairs water closet. We also have them, uh, these little ones, that you'll see scattered around the, the property as well. Uh, when you walk past them, they'll actually, the light will go on there and that'll sanitize all the door handles as well. They work on a biometric radar, so if a human movement's detected, they, um, they don't go on and turn off uh, straight away. They don't produce any ozone, so people can come in immediately after they turn off. And as we switch around outside the water closet and onto this amazing sculpture artwork up here, this collage the owner has done over the past couple of years and wow, it takes up the whole wall and each of these individuals, the owner actually has to change their body um, to put the collage together. What a phenomenal, absolutely beautiful masterpiece it is up on the wall. As you can see, he loves his artwork. As we move forward a little bit more to the other side of the wall, uh, the owner also is a fitness fanatic. So he's got all of his, um, his, his timetable up there for all of the fitness classes he does and some personal friends on the wall as well as we usually do when, we, when we're at home. Uh, moving through as we open up to this massive high ceiling in through to the kitchen area. One thing to note, this you don't see in many homes at all, is the owner's actually got his own vending machines in there as well, his own artisans and products in there too, and some products for guests if they actually want a drink or a snack in there. The vending machine is there as well. There's actually got two of them. That's the first time I've actually seen that in any sort of property. Uh, as we move through, I might trip over a table as I'm walking backwards, and I'm not very good at that. Uh, we open up to the kitchen. Uh, beautiful black cabinetry all through the kitchen and uh, a granite bench tops in through here as well and he's gone with the black and white theme all the way through with this magnificent tiling in the back. Also for his guests, he provides a, a continental breakfast each morning uh, for his guests, his guests in there as well. A very generous owner of this one. But uh, as we move through, we have the butler's kitchen in through here with microwave, 
consistent hot water for teas and coffees and sink and dishwasher in there as well. Now, let's go through to this magnificent 14 car garage because the owner's done very, something very, very special with this as well. As we come through this side, into this door, we open up to a gigantic ceiling in through here. And we move through. The owner's actually changed this whole thing into his own gym. This is massive in here. So we've got a functional training area with battle ropes and sandbags and even a tennis rebound net. Um, the owner apparently loves tennis. Uh, as we move through this amazing gym, we'll pan around so you can see the whole thing. This is gigantic. I can't actually, um, the, the camera doesn't do it justice with the size of this. But we have all commercial equipment gym in here through as well that his guests can use anytime they want. I mean, he's allowing his guests to come in 24 hours a day. Um, so that's phenomenal. And I think he just asked for a donation of $12 per week for all his guests to come and use this. Let's have a look through here. Now, this is something very, very special that he's put in for his families. We've told you how he loves his families. So let's have a look at this. I'm walking backwards again. I'll try not to trip over. As we come through this side of this gigantic gym, the owner's put in place this amazing kids' play zone. I mean, he put it in especially for his own child when, um, when they first uh, got into the property. And now it's available for his guests to use pretty much any time. So that is huge, and I want to go and have a play in there myself. I think we will after we finish this video. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. Let's head upstairs again. More stairs. Use the butt shop. Not a bad butt run. Right? <laughs> As we move up through the property, on the mezzanine level of this massive 14 car garage that the owner's now turned into his personal gym, uh, we have the cardio zone with treadmills and spin bikes and um, ellipticals. We've got pretty much everything in here. So David, that's a bit of a pan around so we can have a bit of a look. Beautiful. You will notice as well, throughout this massive area, they've got some industrial uh, LED UVC lights up there as well that, um, again, work on a biometric radar and they will turn on with no movement sensed, excuse me. They will turn on with no movement sensed and um, sanitise a 10 square metre area. So this whole mezzanine is exactly 10 square metres and uh, it sanitises the whole area. Um, again, if anyone moves in, then they turn off and they're perfectly safe. So, we're going to show you the upstairs. It's luxurious, but we're not going to sit here and make you wait for us to walk all the way down there. So we'll be there in just a flush. And bam, we're back. Back at this beautiful staircase. Let's head on up the stairs and see how this luxurious area, uh, the second story of this amazing property. More butt shot. More butt shot. We do apologize for the butt shot once again. And as we come up the stairs, we're going to head to the left first. I think left first. Yeah, left. left. First? Yeah, I think so, Dave. We'll head around here. And as we go through this little hallway, we open up to the upstairs bathroom. The upstairs bathroom is done luxurious. I mean, the tiling is absolutely amazing. We've got upstairs, if David can pan just up to there, we've got the rain shower head in the flower, in the, sh the rain shower head in the shower, not the flower in the shower. I just looked at that flower over here and sort of went, oh, flower, no, no, Luke. And we've also got soap dispensers, shampoos and conditioners dispensers up there for guests. Um, very, very modern design bathroom up here as well for his guests. So he's really treated this like a B&B really, rather than anything else, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, they've gone one step further and they've also got shower caps and shaving kits and toothbrushes and combs and hair dryers in there as well for his guests as well. And the dreaded uh, scale over there in the corner that we don't really like. We just put that bitch in the corner and leave her there until she tells us the right number, right? Stay off the scale, never do you any good. Also the heated towel rail over here as well for winter. So the towels can be nice and warm when you get out of the shower. Um, as we move out of the bathroom, we move over to this special room and we can see what this special room is up here. Ooh, the owner's placed in his own sauna. Um, he's put in an infrared sauna. Do you want to hear an interesting fact about saunas, David? Yeah, definitely. I love facts. With the infrared sauna, an hour sitting in the infrared sauna 
can equal 580, up to 580 calories burnt. Do you think that's better than doing an hour of cardio? Because I know what I'd rather be doing. Ugh, no one likes cardio. No one likes cardio, but we has to do it, right? But yeah, so the infrared sauna, it's working on infrared, so there's no steam in there, and you can sit in there and um, play video games on your phone, or check out fitforlifenutrition.com and do some shopping while you're in there as well. Yeah, meaningless plug going in there too. Uh, we'll put the link to fitforlifenutrition.com in the comments for you. Have a look through, there's some amazing stuff in there. Uh, as we move out of the sauna, I mean, oh, the sauna room's also got a TV, so if you get bored in the sauna, you can also sit and watch TV from in there as well. So as we move out of the sauna room, we're going to skip bedroom number two, because at the present moment, the owner's using bedroom number two as a bit of a storage facility. There is plans to make that into a change room, um, but it just hasn't come to fruition yet. We had our myotherapist move out just before the last lockdown. So it's just in a transition state at the moment. So we'll skip that one because it looks pretty horrible in there. As we move through again, here we go into the master upstairs uh, living room. Oh look, TV up there, playing the best channel on YouTube. <laughs> love it check us out don't forget to subscribe hit the like button for this video and the notification bell to see more of these amazing videos come up from us and we have a bit of fun while we're giving you some information at the same time but as you can see this beautiful lounge room as we come up has um, some massage chairs in there as well that are coin operators so guests can use them 24 hours a day whenever they come in because they have 24 hour guest access and as we pan around this massive living room uh, we've got the TV, we've got a game station down there as well for younger kids or, or teenagers. If they're in here with mum and dad, they can come up here and um, have a go of the game station while mum and dad can out and the kids don't feel like helping or being with them while they're working out or doing a bit of a workout themselves. They can sit up here and play some video games or watch some TV too. Dana likes to do, uh, have the staff do Pilates and even yoga up here as well because it's nice and peaceful and serene. As we go through, we'll lift these blinds up to Beautiful natural light showing through. Floor to ceiling windows flood the area with natural light and um, give us a beautiful view of, well, the other side of the property from this one. But as we move into the master bedroom, the primary bedroom, we can't call it master anymore, it's gonna be primary bedroom. Uh, as you can see with the primary bedroom, we've got these amazing views with floor to ceiling windows all the way around at the same time. But we've also, uh, the owners set this up or staged it to be an office uh, at the moment. But as you can see, we've got these lovely built-ins over on the side. And this desk, I've got to mention this desk, how beautiful is that? What a stunning piece. The owner's obviously got fantastic taste. <laughs> uh, we thank you guys for checking out our video and allowing us into your home to do this walkthrough. We hope you've had fun with it. And don't forget we post every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. We'll see you next Tuesday. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed that tour. A little bit of fun and inspiration from producer Michael and Adam Swords. Um, if you haven't checked those guys out, they're hilarious. This comical banter and they've got some great content on the YouTube video. We'll put a link in the descriptions below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and like this video. We're posting every Tuesday night and um, thanks for joining us on the tour of the gym. Um, it's been fun. We, we thought we'd do this a little bit different and just have some fun with it. Um, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks again. Say bye, David. Catch you later on. See ya. Hit that link in the description.